Welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm here with my mom today and we are decluttering a sentimental area in her life and her storage tchotchke cabinet. What do you call this? China. <laughs> China cabinet. Glassware, okay. Serving dishes. If you're new here, my name is Shannon and I am joining a group of decluttering channels to bring you a clutter-free January and some decluttering motivation. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. This used to be my china cabinet. It had a full top hutch on it, crammed with knickknacks and china and the bottom also. Two uh, sets of, actually three sets of china. There's only one now, so we're gonna declutter what I have here. We decided to pull everything out of this cabinet for a few reasons. Number one, it was kind of hard to see exactly what was in there since everything was stacked on top of each other. And it was also a good idea to pull it out so we could see if there were duplicate items and she could really think about what she wanted to keep and what she wanted to donate because these were sentimental items. A lot of them were collected on trips she had been on or were given to her from family members that had passed away. So this was a little bit harder than a typical declutter where you're getting rid of things that you know don't mean anything to you. I know I don't need all the platters. I think I'm gonna stay with modern since I don't know what I'm gonna stay with. Most of these dishes are for parties and special occasions and she hasn't been using them a lot lately so that's why she thought it would be a good time to go through these. We've pulled it all out and we're gonna go through each item and see what she wants to get rid of. And I always suggest this, decide what you wanna get rid of and then decide later how you wanna get rid of it, okay. whether it's donating, selling, all that, because I know, especially if they're sentimental items, that can slow you down. Yes. Okay. I can feel that, <laughs> I can feel that happening. <laughs> Let's get started. I always suggest having a box or bin for the items that you know you don't want and you want to get them out of the way as quickly as possible. So she handed me this box and we're going to go through and decide each item right now. And it might be a slow process since it is sentimental items. I've inherited so much. Okay. This I'm going to get rid of this set, and I'm looking at the platter that goes with it. I'm going to get rid of the stuff that's kind of the Asian motif because I'm just really not into that, so I've inherited quite a few pieces. Maybe you should put these in with your Christmas decorations. Yes. That way you know where they are and you can use them. What about these vases? I want to put those with the vases. We found okay. a spot for vases up We in. just did another video and I'll link it down below. We went through her whole kitchen and we found a lot of things to get rid of. And she's got some open space now where she's now keeping vases. So yes. it's good so you can get to these real yeah, quickly. Yeah, so I don't have to dig for them. I noticed as we were pulling things out that she did have a few duplicate items. So I said if there's a few that don't mean as much to you. Maybe you can choose one or the other. That's just one way to declutter. I think I'll keep these two and I'll get rid of these two. And I have a glass butter dish and I have this pretty little silver one that's really tarnished and I think I'll get rid of it because I don't want to polish silver. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Okay, I'll set it aside. This was my grandmother's, your great grandmother's. And this is a cute little dish. Do you want this? Seriously, I'm not being sarcastic. No. No? No, thank okay. you. I'm gonna, and those two silver things, I don't think I'll use those. Silver. Wow, I'm shocked that you're getting rid of stuff so quickly. I am too. I'm on a roll, so I better stick with it. One. I feel like this seems more practical. Is that a spider? No, it's something. It's like that? a spider web and a cocoon or something. Oh my gosh. Which Ew. seems more practical, this? This does. Okay. I could put fruit in there. This I feel like my kids would come over and <laughs> break it. Now these two are handmade. Those look familiar. I think we made those. <laughs> They're both by Shannon. It's up to you if you want to keep them. Do you want them? No. You don't want them? No. As soon as this coronavirus is over, we're going to have parties every weekend. This platter, I don't need. It's too big and heavy. These are decorative plates. I'm really, I used to put them on display. I, I'm really not into that anymore. So I think I'll declutter them. Why does it seem so easy now than it did before? Because before I would say, hey, let's go through this cabinet. And she would always tell me, no way, not going to do it. Because you seem like it's way easier now. Okay, this is it. I'm almost 65. Next month I'll be 65. I've got a bunch of stuff to go through. I know she doesn't want it. So I'm just, you know, not going to have a place for it someday. So 
Okay. It's got to go somewhere. Okay, we know got two of these. Those. those are very functional. Okay, I so like those. Those are new. This cut crystal glass water pitcher. It's very pretty. It's dirty right now, but it was never very practical. So I think I'm going to part with it. Okay, we got another decorative plate here. These two. These are. Oh, you know, you know, trolls are back now. You know, when someone gives you something really special, it's very special, but I don't know. We've never hung it. Do you want it? No. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell it. So keeping all of this, but decluttering all of that. Wow. One tip I have if you have too many sentimental things you wanna keep is to set a limit. The way I do that is I have one large bin where I store all of my sentimental items that I'm not currently using. That way I don't end up keeping too many items, but I have the ones that I truly enjoy and love. Here. All of this china she knows she wants and she's already gone through and got rid of how many? I had two other sets of china before. <laughs> She had two other sets of china and she decided to keep this one. Now we're just putting everything back away that she's keeping and we did this declutter at the end of December and I just find the end of the year and January are a great time to declutter because it really sets you up for an organized year without all of the extra stuff. Here is the before of the left side of the cupboard and here's the after. And here is the before of the right side of the cupboard. And here is the after. And as you can see, there is way more space in here than there was before she did the decluttering. We decided to go through the three drawers since we were already on a roll. This can go. These can go. Uh, that can go. So she did not want to open this drawer and we've already found how many <laughs> items. A few. One good thing to keep in mind when you're going through all of your sentimental items is that you can go through them over and over again. So if you're having a really hard time getting rid of something or you're unsure of an item, you can set it aside and revisit the souvenir box or memento box later on at another time. Why were you able to get rid of so much of this this time? Because I haven't used it and haven't looked at it and I kept what I really wanted to have. I had too much. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm so excited that you were able to do this because I know it's really hard for you and it, is. it was really good. She got rid of so much. I'm really just surprised that yeah. you did this. Yay. I know I kept it for years and years. So now it's time to let go. Yeah, it's really good. And now she has so much room for all the things she does want to use. So it won't be such a burden yes. to get to and use it. Yes. We can use it more often now. I have a full playlist with my mom decluttering everything in her house so far. And those are really fun videos, so I'll leave that playlist down below. As well as the Clutter Free in January playlist, I'm joining a whole bunch of decluttering channels, and we've made a playlist of a lot of decluttering inspiration for you, so I will link that as well. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, you're going to love that one. Oh, wow. Um, let me back it up. We can back up. I know, we're too close, I think. This was a fine bottle of limoncello I got in Italy. In point, point, point. If your sentimental items are bringing you happiness and joy whenever you see them, you might as well keep them because they are serving a purpose even if you aren't necessarily using it every day. Mm -hmm.